Hey guys, I'm a V How To here, and today I'll be showing you how I can duck audio in I'm a V10. So first, what I can use for a sample clip is this clip I have in my project library. So I can just select it, drag it into my project. So what ducking is, you have a main clip right here. Let's say it's your voiceover. And then you have a background clip, like a music track like this down here. So what ducking allows you to do is lower the volume of the surrounding tracks while the main clip right here is playing. So if we play where the clip is right now, you can barely hear that. So to apply the ducking effect, first click on the main clip and go to the sound tab right here. And then you go to this option that says lower volume of other clips. And when you drag the slider down to here, this lowers the volume of the surrounding clips by around 20%. And when you drag the slider to the other side, it basically mutes the surrounding clips. But you can see like right over here, how it changes. So if I put it around like a little bit over the middle, see how it sounds. Testing and voice recording, one, two, three, test, one, two, three, testing. You can see that's a lot easier to hear, but you can still hear the music, background music behind it. So it's a good technique to use. Just for demonstration, you can just pump it to all the way to 100%, and then all you hear is only the voiceover, so the music just fades out. Testing a voice recording, one, two, three, test, one, two, three, test. Though what happens also is if you put it on the very lowest setting, it isn't as effective as the higher setting. Testing a voice recording, one, two, three, test, one, two, three, testing. So that's basically how you can duck audio clips in I'm a V10. Thank you for watching this iMovie tutorial. If you liked this video or thought this video was helpful, be sure to press the like button, comment, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.